<laughs> the fear is more of reverence. The yeah, fear is go. more of, there oh, go. this there God go. knows me. He is good. He is for me. The fear is out of, out of reverence and respect and appreciation for he who knows more than I do that I will then act. So it's not a scared fear. Yeah. It's not a fear. It's not a, I'm going to hun hunker over and, um, you know, fire and brimstone is going to come down. I think it's more of, oh, he is for me and he knows something I don't know. He can see something coming that I can't see. And in hindsight of the last six months, he saw things coming that I couldn't see yeah. that I needed to be home for. One of the hardest things about this life on earth is that we have the the natural and the spiritual, right? Like we have the practical side of things and then we have the spiritual side of things. And if I was gonna come to you guys and be like, hey, I've got this idea. I think I'm just gonna like quit my job tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You'd probably be like, ah, time out, right? Like, mm -hmm. let's talk about that. That might be unwise. Cause we all exist in the reality of bills to pay and yeah. responsibilities yeah, right. and we yeah. want to be wise yeah. and we use that word wisdom right. we want to be wise people wise stewards of our time wise stewards of our resources of our family of our influence and so we're constantly weighing what does wisdom look like here in the practical which has really very real implications yeah. but then wisdom in the spiritual can often look so different yeah, yeah. And as believers, we all, I know all of you would say to me, okay, well, what, what has the Lord told you about this? So that might be the lens, but I think a, probably a lot of people might be listening and, and we forget that wisdom in the spiritual can look so different mm -hmm. than wisdom in the natural, yeah, yeah. wisdom in the, yeah, the practical, right. mm -hmm. where when God says, go quit your job tomorrow, you go, that is the wise thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, and, and I love how scripture says, fear of the Lord yeah. is mm -hmm. the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I use that example because all of you know, and many of our, our viewers know that that's recently what I experienced about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. But it truly was fear of the Lord that led me to make that really terrifying yeah. leap. Yeah. 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 Because to walk away from everything with three little kids and absolutely no plan, oh right? Like it's not like, oh, I'm walking from this to <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm right. walking from this to I don't yeah, know what. Yeah, right. In the practical, that is crazy. Yeah. In the practical, that is unwise. Yeah. In the practical, that doesn't make sense at all. But I think it's such an important topic for us to talk about. What does wisdom look like in God's economy? Yeah. What does wisdom look like in God's kingdom where He will ask you, not sometimes, often, yeah. to do things that seem unwise in the natural, that seem impractical, illogical, downright crazy. Yeah in the natural. And so I'm just curious for you all, th this was my most recent experience of God asking me to do something that was wise in His eyes, this obedience, a fear of the Lord to walk away from everything simply because He told me to, right. no other reason, for something that in the, in the practical looked unwise. I'm curious for you all, what is, what is something where you've experienced that, where God asked you to do something that was either crazy or impractical or unwise, would seem to be unwise, in the natural, but because it was the fear of the Lord that drove you and led you, you knew it was wisdom. You knew it was you being obedient to God's call and you, you're you seeking His wisdom for what's next. So I'm curious if y'all have anything y'all have well, experienced I, like that, because it's, it's so hard. You know, I want to talk about that, but I kind of want to just rewind a yeah. little bit to what you were saying about this, even the language fear of the Lord. Yeah. I think that that kind of sounds strange or negative people. it sounds negative yeah it sounds like a real like well I don't want to talk to somebody I'm afraid right, of right. and I I feel like that would be a good you know moment yeah. to kind of Sounds take good. a breath here yeah. and think about why would I want to listen to someone I'm afraid of? Yeah. And I, I think I can talk about that a long time, but I think we all need to weigh in on sometimes that we use language that's yeah. in the Bible that is not exactly clear in yeah. this time and space. So kind of explain what yeah. you mean, the fear of the Lord. There. Yeah, well, you bring up a really good point, Robin, because even the word wisdom, like there's wisdom in scripture, and that looks so different than what we would say wisdom uh -huh. in the practical, uh -huh. but fear, right? Fear is something we don't want to fear. The Bible says, do not fear. Yeah, fear is seen yeah. as a negative. It is not from God. Do not fear. Uh -huh. And then, but fear of the Lord uh -huh. is the beginning of wisdom. And fear of the Lord is seen as, as, as a good thing. And so I love how you brought that up. For me, when I think back to that most recent big life-changing decision, 
I, I, the way that I describe it is I very quickly got to the place where I feared disobedience more than I feared leaving, mm, and I yeah. feared leaving a lot. But let's unpack the layers, like you said. Mm. Yeah, because in the word fear, yeah. yes. the yeah. way it's applied. Yeah. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Because yeah. if you're not careful, you think of God as this vindictive, mean guy, uh-huh. rah, fire yeah. and brimstone, yeah. and you fear that. No, no, no. What I know from um, decades of walking with God is that God is good and God loves me uh-huh. and he is for me. The, the most basic childlike truths. I know he is good, he loves me, and he is for me. Yeah. So if he's asking me to do something, it is for my good. And okay. so even though in the practical it's terrifying, the fear <laughs> is more of reverence. The fear okay. is more of, oh, go. this there God go. knows me, he is good, he is for me. The fear is out of, out of reverence and respect and appreciation for he who knows more than I do. Mm-hmm that Mm -hmm. I will then act. So it's not a scared fear. It's not a fear. It's not a, I'm going to hunker over and, um, you know, fire and brimstone is going to come down. I think it's more of, oh, he is for me and he knows something I don't know. He can see something coming that I can't see. And in hindsight of the last six months, he saw things coming that I couldn't see that I needed to be home for and focus on. And so it was for my protection that he did that. You know, I think anyone who is a parent, think of our own kids. Mm -hmm. We can see, you know, just last night, my boys were riding up and down the street in their scooter. And I I would sit back on the driveway enough where I could see the cars coming, Mm -hmm. right? Like we live in a neighborhood where cars come, but they drive somewhat slow, but I still want to know. And I would scream car when I could see the car coming that they couldn't see. It's for their protection. And out of fear of their mom, hopefully (laughs) they get in the grass, right? right. Mm -hmm. But it's because I love them and I want to protect them. And I I think that fear word can be negative, but it's more out of reverence and respect for God who loves us. So I was thinking about my dad. My dad was always the fun parent. He would take us to play tennis. He taught me how to play checkers and ping pong so I could beat my uncles. (laughs) You know, he was just like always just the the fun one. Um, At the same time, he was also the one that we revered the most mm-hmm. because when we got in trouble, it was dad who was dishing out discipline. Mm-hmm. It was dad who was affirming us. Mm-hmm. It was dad who was giving us allowance. It was dad who was, he was the the source in the house, you know, yeah. the source giver. And so, you know, there were certain things I would not do because I had the respect and the mm-hmm. awe and the fear of dad. Because mm-hmm. if dad said, stop, that's enough, stop, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Now, was dad going to abuse me? Absolutely not. But did dad's words hold weight and power and authority mm-hmm. behind them? Absolutely, yes. So because I mm-hmm. feared dad in the respect sense, I wasn't going go to go to school and act a fool. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to say certain things to my mother or I wasn't going to use certain language with my sisters because they were going to tell dad. And because of the fear of dad, I had wisdom in some of my dealings because I knew dad was going to back it. Mm-hmm. And I think if we transfer that to God, because we know that that father role is really our introduction to how we should see God. Yeah. And sometimes it's been marred. But in the positive Mm -hmm. sense, when it's been done rightly, then it's really saying, okay, if you can respect this earthly father, now I've set you up to respect the Mm -hmm. father. Mm -hmm. And so we transfer that in a greater way to our father and say, there's certain things I won't do now. There's certain things, places I can't go, you know, because I fear, I respect, I honor God. Mm -hmm. I give him my yes, sir. You know, and Mm -hmm. so I think that like the the scripture says, Mm It's step one to wisdom, yeah. you know, and as you were saying also about, um, you know, good sense and all this in the word for, you know, wisdom has good sense in it. Mm-hmm. That's good godly sense, but it's not the same as common sense. Yeah. You know, common sense may seem like, well, in, in the natural, you shouldn't quit your job. Yeah. That's just common sense. You don't have another one. But good sense says, I fear God, therefore I obey Him. And that is the best decision for me to do, is to step out and say bye-bye and hello. The fear of the Lord should be more powerful than the fear of the unknown. And the reason I say that is because when you fear God, you're essentially choosing what is good for you. Because the fear of the unknown, this this could be full of your worries or hypotheticals. But when you fear God, you're saying, God, you're God and I'm not, and you're gonna have this figured out. And you know, I've shared so many examples today about what that felt like whenever I made this huge leap of faith about eight months ago, but it truly was fear of God that trumped my fear of walking away from something that I loved very much. And so when we fear God, it's not this scary fear. It's not this fire and brimstone, God is is against you. It's instead the opposite. It's I fear 
I fear the Lord in such a reverent way that I know that He's for me. So if He's asking me to do something, that's going to be better than the unknown. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.